Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 23rd tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have covered the basic date and time DAX function. And in today's class, we will cover up some filter function. Filter functions are most used function in Power BI while making report. So let's start the video guys without wasting our time. So go to the Microsoft reference page. And we have discussed date and time functions in our previous video. Now we will study this filter function. So let me click this on link. So here guys, we have lots of filter function are here. Like all, all accept, all selected, calculate earlier. So I'll start this video with this filter function. So let's move to the practical guys. Now go to our sales table. And now we will study how to use filter function. And here our requirement is to see the sales of country India. So we are creating a new table for the India country. So go to our modeling tab. And here is the option guys, which is new table. And we are creating a new table for the India sales. So under formula bar, I will enter my table name, which is India. And then write equal to sign. Now I'll write my filter function, which is F I L T E R and bracket start. And in filter function, here are two parameters guys. The first one is table name and the second one is filter expression. So our table name is sales. So I'll write here sales. Then press comma. In filter expression, we need to enter our column name from where we need to filter the data. So simply I will select my column name, which is country. And now we need to put equal to sign here, guys. And inverted comma begins. And now I'll write by the country name, which is India. Because we are filtering our data on the basis of India. Now inverted comma close and close the bracket. And then press enter. And now we guys can see our new table has added, which is India. This table is displaying only India data. So in this way, guys, you can apply more filter on more countries and more products. So I'll take one more example. Let's say we want to create a product table. So let me delete this country table first. And now we will create a product table. So again, go to the modeling tab and click new table. And our naming convention is product. And we want to filter out the data only milk. Now I write my DAX function, which is filter. Bracket start and the table name is sales. Comma. And again, we need to write filter expressions, which is this time filter expression is our product name. So I'll write product here. Equal to and I'll start the inverted comma and I'll write here milk. And close the bracket. So here we guys, we have a table of product and we can only display the milk sale. So I hope you guys are pretty much cleared about this filter function. So now we will take one more practical with different DAX function. So this time we will study about calculate function. Calculate basically means evaluate an expression in a modified filter context. So let's see the practical. Let me delete this product table first. And now we will see the practical of calculate. 
let's say this time our requirement is to see the sales of country India. So we don't need to create a separate table here, guys, to see the sales of country India. So we can simply use this DAX function. We can see the sales of India country. So I'll take a new measure from here. And let's say my measure name is India sales. Equal to sign. And I will write my DAX function here, which is calculate. And here are two parameters, guys, which is expressions and filter. And our expression is we want to sum of all India sales. So I'll write some function here. And the bracket start. And under some function, we have one more parameter, which is column name. So our column name is sales. And close the bracket. Now in calculate function, we have another parameter, which is filter. So put it comma here. In our filter parameter, we need to enter our column name, which is country. So I'll simply write here country name. And sales table and the column name is country. And we need to write equal to sign and start the inverted comma. And I'll write here India because we want to sum off all the India seats and close the bracket. And it's popping up an error. The name India sales is already used for a measure on a table sales. Use a different file name. So I'll rename this simply India sales 2. And now I close the bracket. So let's go to the visual guys. And let me take the card visual here. And I'll just drag and drop off this measure. Which is India sales 2. So we guys can see this formula filter the India sales only. So in this way, you can filter the sales of any product or any country or any column. If you want to see the product wise filtration, so you guys can also use calculate formula after filtering the product section. So I hope you guys have cleared with the filter function which we have studied. So we have a list of DAX function and I have already told you it's not possible to cover each and every DAX under this basic course. So please explore and practice yourself and I will create separate DAX playlist after end of this course. So please support this channel and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. You guys can also follow me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn link is given under the description below. Thank you so much guys. Keep watching and keep learning. Thank you so much.